everybody. My name is Ray Voden, Lab Manager and Chief Preparator over at the Virginia Museum of Natural History. And so for the last eight years of my working there, we've been molding and casting things like this. Uh, this is a giant beaver, also known as Castoroides ohioensis. It is a giant beaver because A, it looks like a beaver, and B, it's really big. Uh, two skulls here. We've got the uh, today's beaver. Uh, which, uh, these beavers um, usually get about 90 pounds. These guys here, the giant beavers are thought to get upwards of 150 to um, 250 pounds. What we've got here, we've got this walking giant beaver, and he's actually got a lot of interesting things about him. This is, by the way, is the most complete giant beaver ever found, roughly about 82% complete, and originally described by Joseph Moore in, 18, in the 1870s. So the specimen's been known for quite a long time. If we take a look at the skeleton, it's got some neat little things that you may not notice when you first look at it, but over here, this animal had broken a toe and then it, and it had healed wrong and it, it had offset itself. We also have in the neck here, these are called cervical vertebra. And inside the neck, we actually have two of the cervical vertebra that are fused together. And that is actually pretty common among giant beavers. Um, these guys, by the way, went extinct at the end of the Ice Age about 12,000 years ago. This is your guys' specimen now.